Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you a new technique with a machine, how to monitor your reaction. So reaction can be monitored by React IR. So all of us know that IR can detect the functional group. So this IR is little special. It can monitor the increase or decrease of the functional group based on the reaction. Suppose if you do a reaction with A and B and you are producing C, so in the product suppose you are generating a new functional group so with this ir technique you can monitor that new functional group generated in the product or you can also monitor the decay of the functional group containing molecule in the reactant so uh, if you plot the graph so uh, suppose it is your reactant one of the reactant and it is the time and also the product so reactant is start here so with the reaction time it will make a plot like this this is the trend actually and if you uh, initially your product will be zero so your product will increase like this so once all are done then it will go to the equilibrium situation so by this way you can um, monitor the reaction and also the product trend and the reacted reactant trend like how it is decreasing and how product is increasing so let's see how to do uh, this reaction monitor by the react ir so here is the ir machine it is uh, from metler toledo company react ir 15 so you are seeing the light is blinking so i am adding the liquid nitrogen this machine normally take around one liter of the liquid nitrogen this is the uh, normally this liquid nitrogen uh, part stay like this with this knob so take out this knob and use this special kind of funnel and add the liquid nitrogen so um, with this funnel I'm just pouring the liquid nitrogen so uh, there are three lights three blue lights one is blinking so once all the liquid nitrogen filled then the one of the light will indicate that yes it is ready to use so now I am using the liquid nitrogen adding the liquid nitrogen in the machine and here is the computer so this is the software i will show you the software and how to use this so here i am using the liquid nitrogen until it is full so initially add slowly very slowly liquid nitrogen because initially it take some bumping issue and that's why a very very first time when you are using add slowly the liquid nitrogen and then move on slow addition with slow addition so here i you are seeing that i'm adding the liquid nitrogen in the machine with very slow addition portion wise so i'm keeping um, addition of nitrogen uh, until it is full and how you will understand it is full so if you see there is a small gap in the bottom of the funnel so you'll see like liquid nitrogen will start forcing out uh, and also there is a, a blue light in the front side that is called MCT that blue light will be like stable so then you will understand the liquid nitrogen is uh, full and you don't need to add more so here I'm adding because it takes time because you have to add slow uh, although I made this um, video a little faster so maybe you are seeing that like I'm adding 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 actually I just made it faster uh, first forward video so maybe that's why you can see like I'm frequently adding but it is like you have to be patient really patient during addition of the liquid nitrogen so yeah here the addition is almost close to be finished so maybe one or two more time um, addition require so you you now you will see like the liquid nitrogen is coming out like you can see that in both side of the um, filter funnel so that means it is done like this machine is full of liquid nitrogen so it is important Without liquid nitrogen, you cannot run this machine. That is the 
kind of fuel of this machine so once it is done take this filter out funnel out from there and put that knob and when you put that knob you might hear like vibrating sound for like a couple of minutes because it is getting you used to it the same temperature because the knob was outside now you can see that mct okay so that light is stable and uh, power and scan button always will be power button always will be blue and scan button always be, will be like blinking now mctk okay so now click ic ir70 uh, software so you will see the software is opening here and now you can see different things quick start many other things so you will click other document or oh, quick start not now you will click other document because you have to take the reference spectra for your solvent for your starting material and for your reagent so here everything is fine and this tube connecting with this rod this is called probe this is the mm, this is the probe where <coughs> your reaction uh, uh, it will go to in your reaction mixture and it will monitor your reaction with this probe on the tip of this probe there is a diamond actually so the technology is very advanced level <coughs> so it can monitor the vibration frequency of the functional group and by this way like if the fun uh, molecule having new functional group or if you know the any functional group of the molecule uh, starting material so all all of the functional group can uh, measure by this can be measured by this probe so probe is ready before using the probe normally probe need to be clean so by using the chem wipe paper towel and acetone you can wipe the probe um, and then uh, i'm showing how to start again so just go to the software icir70 double click then it will open and initially it will show that uh, interface like quick start um, uh, other things and remember you will click other document so click it and it says spectra set click the spectra set so once you click the spectra set it will show like this no document uh, are found so you don't need to worry about it click ok um, then click here collect background so click collect break background background so it will collect uh, the background from the air and this dialog box will appear so make sure that top one and the third one are green then you can click continue so it will show this message bo dialog box and click ok so it will ask where to save so uh, make a destination like where you want to make your file so uh, like any folder like my name folder and I will make a new folder here and I will put the name of that folder like what is the experiment I am doing and with the date and like according to my preference I will make a name and also definitely you can make your own name what is the experiment you are going to do so <clears throat> um, once the folder is a uh, new folder is taken then put your name and then um your that spectra set will be saved in this folder so basically the spectra set means like you will measure your solvent ir and also your starting material ir individually so uh, and so that once you do the real experiment and from that experiment you can add your this spectra set and then you can subtract your solvent or like reagent from the original reaction then you will see the outcome of the reaction and where the new functional group is generating it can measure so here it is done then click uh, collect background and use you, you can see in the bottom like it is it has 128 scan so it is taking doing that scan like um, to take the uh, background so mm, let it be done and wait once the background collection is done 
then um, you don't need to do anything here and then you go next to the collect background there is a collect reference so now you are uh, collecting reference that reference means like your solvent your starting material so same dialog box click continue and this time you don't need to do the collect background you will do use this background skip this step now name so <clears throat> Here you will put the name like I use my solvent as acetone and deuterium oxide 80 into 80s to 20 ratio. So I am writing deuterium uh, acetone deuterium oxide uh, where it is like 80 20. So you can put your own name like what is the solvent you are using. And if your solvent has any functional group, then you and what is the type solvent and uh, functional group name if your so function if your solvent has functional group you have to select so i have the acetone so i have the dialkyl ketone or like carbonyl so i am here um looking for the dialkyl carbonyl group uh, like ketone group you know the acetone has a carbonyl group so here ketone dialkyl so this one i am selecting for the acetone since my solvent has the acetone and it has a functional group so then click uh, collect some uh, reference and before clicking it you have to add that uh, solvent so in a vial uh, de based depends like how much uh, solvent and reaction uh, original reaction uh, volume you are taking so you have to take the similar amount of the solvent too like to, to be consistent <laughs> So in a vial, I have taken that solvent, solvent only. So now I'm going to add uh, a, use a cot cotton bud soaked with that solvent. And initially I will soak the uh, probe tip with this cotton bud. And then I will emerge the probe. Um, here I'm doing the, uh, I'm soaking the, the probe tips with the soaked cotton bud. Now I'm inserting the solvent uh, vial in uh, here like i'm emerging the probe and now i am fixing the uh, clamp with it so that it can stay like that and remember your probe need to be a little inclined so as you see how we have attached the probe with the uh, stand so here make sure that the probe tip should be emerged under the solvent now once it is done now you can click like collect uh, spectrum so if once you click it collect a spectrum so it will do again 128 scan so wait until uh, uh, finishing the collecting spectrum so once this one is done uh, while it is going on make sure that you are making ready for other reference like your other starting materials suppose you have a and b to react so make ready a and make ready b all of the uh, reagent should be taken as a reference before reacting so click next so once you click next so take take out your original vial from here and since it was a solvent and water so it is even it is taken out but still it is showing some functional group because of the probe tip is soaked with the solvent so now i'm using the chem wipe and the acetone to clean to clean this probe tip so that all the solvent like get dried like all the solvent is gone so normally uh, it should go dry quickly and it should the software should give like probe should machine should give the clear baseline but for this time when i was making video it was for some reason it was not drying quickly so in that case still it uh, if it is clean you make sure it is clean then still it has a way to do like move forward because if probe is not showing like clean baseline then uh, it is tough to go forward for the uh, experiment so here in the screen still it is showing some red line although the baseline is very nice like the black line is the baseline so still it is showing it is not moving forward so here on the top you can see like next so you can um, 
I watched a couple of times still it is not going so what I am going to do I will click on next so then it will ask to do a new background so it is okay to do a new background it's fine so it's uh the still it has a it has a red and i i was washing with acetone again but uh, that acetone is showing this whole thing but it still it is not getting clear or like clean baseline even it is dried so um so you are seeing that the baseline is getting straight but still the red lines are indicating it might have something so machine does sometimes have this kind of things maybe air or something so it is not going <coughs> so what i'm gonna do here now um i will do like manually forward how so on top of that you will see a button called next so since i know that like probe is clean this probe is clean completely clean um but still that is not going so um here i am trying my best like final wash but still it is not going so you see the next so i will click next so it will show like collect background so i will click collect background so collect background again so it will do 128 scan again so um i'm waiting for scanning 128 scanning so um do not click stop uh, let it finish 128 scan for the background collection so once it is done then you may see like another background it's fine now go to uh, collect reference again for the other re uh, starting material or reference so here it will show this dialog box again and click uh use this background skip this step and now here i am putting a starting material like in my case it is a carboxylic acid so i am writing the name as a acid host um, like i put the name as a host so uh, and it is a like reactant so i am clicking reactant and since it is acid functional group will be carboxylic acid c double o h so i am selecting the carboxylic acid group here like as a functional group so you can go to the alphabetically so carboxylic acid uh, i already get it and that carboxylic group is aliphatic so if uh, the carboxylic is aliphatic so you have to select aliphatic if uh, aromatic you have to select aromatic now collect uh, uh, spectrum so it will do again 128 oh i am uh, don't click the collect spectrum first the first take the that is starting material in another bio in the same volume and then take a uh, cotton bud and take a little bit of it soak with this acid solution <coughs> sorry soak with this acid solution uh, like this uh, with the cotton bud and now again soak the probe tip with this cotton bud uh, so it is kind of making saturated the tips of the um, uh, probe so that it is because there is a like a small hole type thing so uh, if you immerse the probe inside the liquid uh, if there is a air bubble so it might give you the wrong um, data so that's why just we are making the probe tip saturated by the uh, that solution by using uh, the cotton bud now i am putting the acid bile um with the probe like probe is immersed in the acid bile and now i uh, attached the clamp uh, attached the bile with a clamp with the help of clamp and since it is a one of the starting materials so i'm making sure there is a no uh, no bubble or no gap below the probe uh, on the tip so uh you have to be a little bit careful in this step like making sure there is no bubble so now go to the uh, software and collect now click collect spectrum so it will collect spectrum for the acid so i'm waiting for 128 scan again so once uh the scan is done 
then uh, similarly i will collect all other reactant uh, i am not showing here like same same thing so uh, this is the same way like similarly you can collect all other starting material spectra once this is done then click next and take out your file and then clean the probe again with the help of acetone um, solution and uh, chemo chemo wipe uh, paper towel so here you send like chemtech chemo wipes so use those paper towels and acetone and clean the probe so now i am doing i am cleaning the probe so once the cleaning is done then you might see the baseline clear baseline so here i'm washing with the acetone and i'm also putting some acetone in the on the tip of the probe now you can see the click next and you'll see like wipe the probe tip with a dry paper dry key key wipe and once it is done then you will see that red thing will be gone and now it is showing like still there might have some solvent not clean the probe test status not clean clean probe and then collect a new background so here you see that the baseline is a straight line and now you can see that test status is clean so now click next so your reference collection is done so now um i'm gonna show how to do the real experiment so once like one thing you can do you can select acetone like as a solvent like a reagent in the acetone and deuterium oxide so you can subtract that then you can see the difference if you click it you can see the difference you will not see too much of the difference here but uh, once you will use this part in the original experiment real experiment then you will see the difference uh you can see like in this video let's see like how we can do that experiment so now make ready your reagent a and reagent b like the since i take the acid host like carboxylic acid so i will take the acid solution now um in a while before that i will clean the probe nicely and then um, making ready everything so uh, here the um, my acid reaction acid plus uh, edc so i'm gonna use acid plus edc so i didn't add the edc yet since <clears throat> i just labeled at uh, labeled that vial as acid plus edc so now uh, go to the file uh, on top of the left left corner and go to new so click new and now click quick start so that will be the real experiment so once you click quick start again you will see this dialog box so you can click continue and now you can uh, save the experiment with your preferent preferential name like whatever you want so type your type the experiment name and um then put other import information whatever this dialog box is asking where you want to save and what is the duration you want so you can choose duration like for the experiment like half an hour one hour two hour three hour like four hour uh, up to two days or maybe more than that so even if you start with the four hour next time if you want to change the time you can do it so here in this box i'm clicking like to show my uh, original folder where this data should be saving so um, i'm clicking this and now save in this folder and you see the duration so duration is eight hours i need this experiment like four hours uh, so but you can choose 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour two hour like something like this 20 36 hour two days like 48 hours or even you can increase and sample interval means like how many how much time later like each scan should be like every 30 second scan i prefer every 30 second then click create so it will be created and it will say like take a background before 
so click the tick background and like then click um background collect background so it will do a 128 scan so once the background is the uh, collection is done so you can go to the left corner top corner you see the triangle black triangle so that is a start button so you can add one reagent in a vial and emerge it with the probe and then before adding the second reagent you can start that triangle button even if you start early earlier than the addition of the second reagent it's fine this this button i'm talking about it's fine because if it is not reacting so the it will be in the like in a certain uh, baseline type things so you'll see um, in the original experiment trend when i am showing when i will show you the re reaction trend so here i'm adding the acid um, carboxylic acid solution in the vial so basically i'm trying to make the follow the anhydride because a carbox you know that the carboxylic acid in presence of edc it formed the anhydride so anhydride has a certain um, wave number in the ir like around 1800 to 1900 so uh, we are monitoring that peak so here um, i i am adding that um, reaction uh, carboxylic acid in the solvent and now i am putting a, a small stirring bar because once it is insert inserted so you can start stirring so that it can always uh, uh, mixing perfectly when i was taking the reference spectrum i was using cotton bud to soak the probe but now i am not because the stirring bar will be enough to soak the like to remove the bubble formed near to the probe surface so uh, here the stirring plate um, so i am fixing cert certain uh, with a certain speed everything so that like it can start stirring so you can see magnet is stirring slowly you don't need to do like like very vigorously so just a little bit stirring now once everything is ready then um i will click the the triangle button like a start button before edi addition of the second reagent so here i have the second reagent in the vial so uh with the pipette micro pipette i am uh, taking the uh, required amount of the edc solution and now i'm going to e add that edc um uh, in that original reaction vial where the probe is immersed so um, you can see that i am now measuring and adding now just adding the reagent so so as long as this reagent is added and reaction should start immediately and from that the machine should start collecting the new generation of the new functional group again before adding the edc just click that start button then add the edc it's fine before adding the uh, second reagent because you will see the difference so here um, the addition is done and uh, magnet uh, is stirring slowly so now you can go to the computer interface um, I can show you how the reaction is progressing and how what exactly we are seeing and how to process the data while it is going on like it is in live mode. So I'm making tight this part and also I will cover the like top part with the uh, parafilm wrapping. So, so that the solvent cannot go away with the open mouth. Here you see that I am wrapping the top with the parafilm. Uh, just making seal 
so that the solvent cannot go outside like volume cannot uh, change a lot um, there's some system like cap has a hole in it and like if you do in a big bile reaction then you can see you can set up with that same fitting bile cap so here like we are just doing <coughs> yeah, uh, one experiment to see how the reaction is progressing and later like optimization we are doing optimization in the reaction so that's why just i'm using the parafilm and it works better for me <coughs> so once the setup everything is done then while the machine is scanning so you can see how it is scanning so you can see here like everything is together now so you can go to the home spectra analyze and view so go to the view uh, here one thing you can do if you go to the view then you see the phase <coughs> and you can click on the phase then you will see like i choose this reaction four hours 30 second interval so here the four hour if you click on the four hour you can change the time like if you want to increase the time like 24 hour like you can change the time or like eight hour whatever so it will be changed accordingly once it is done then you can click add phase then your time will be increased but now I'm not adding so four hour so just I'm showing live go to the live and then go to the phases so then you can click phase uh, increase the time and also you can change the interval time like it is showing 30 second now go to the home and like not home spectra and now you can click add spectra so this button will add let you to add your spectra set remember you take reference spectra set so acetone uh, solvent acid host so uh, even acid host i don't need it like just the solvent subtraction will be enough for this reaction so but if you need you can uh, take add all of the uh, reference so once it is added then go to the solvent subtraction so you can click and select the sol uh, solvent uh, which one was done like acetone and deuterium oxide 80 is to 20 so once <coughs> it is selected then you will see this is spectrum subtracted the black one so um, if you also you can also check with the acid so if you uh, subtract the acid then you might may not see too much good spectra so still it is like just taking so maybe you are seeing one or two spectra but you can add more spectra because it the this machine is already scanning a lot of scan so here i am just uh, removing the in this corner you can click and you can remove the like reference uh, spectra from here and now here on the top you can click data spectra notes so go to the notes and you will see like notes means like what are the scan already have done so just click on that pin that means you are pinning this um, data in your original spectra set uh, spectra like where just you have seen that so whatever the spectra is done so now go to the spectra you will see like the stack of all those pinned data data set so from here you can see your data and you can use this magnifying glass to zoom this area so here I'm zooming a certain area like because I'm looking for like uh, an anhydride peak. So that should be around 1800 to 1900. So I feel like this, this uh, small peak is the anhydride around 1800. So um, you can make it more bigger. Like now I'm just zooming uh, through the X axis, like time axis, you can also select y axis then it will be like more bigger you can see that now it be, it be, it gets bigger so this is the peak of interest so uh, in that case uh, i will select i will click on the peak and once you click on the peak you can click trend then you can see th how that uh, peak is increasing so again you can click on this corner it is showing rid rid detector peak so you can uh, it, that means peak is not selected so you can 
make like this like whole peak from one side to another now if you go to the trend then you will see that peak so now the pink color rid peak i can click this arrow and then i will take out our rid one and now the yellow one is my that original peak so it is increasing you can see that it increasing as long as uh, when it start increasing that time actually is like addition of the reactant so you see the reaction is going on and the solution is getting a little cloudy and that is normal for this because it has water and acetone and an anhydride is like more organic so it become a little cloudy and the since it is a water system so that anhydride will break down also uh, so uh, we are monitoring this reaction like how long that anhydride is forming and after that anhydride come back to carboxylic acid this is a this is the peak you can also see three dimensionally and see like yellow and the, uh, like that um, green color so yellow is like that peak height is increasing so this is a really cool view if you want to see and you can rotate also three dimensionally <clears throat> so that will be uh, see that can be seen in the like a structure mode so on the Ne ne below the start button so uh, sorry surface surface button so below the uh, start button surface trend note spectra and data so train button you can monitor like how like that specific functional group increasing like concentration is increasing with the time so you can measure the height of the increase of the height also you can measure the increase of the area so the y-axis now it is showing height but you can change to area too so this is the surface so in the surface you can see the three-dimensional so this is the way like you can measure uh the reaction you can monitor the reaction and you can see the trend of the reactant uh, you, if you have like couple of reactant you can monitor all the reactant trend like which are decreasing and the product which are increasing so now this is how um, you can use react ir to monitor your reaction and you can see different data after different time like what is the time elapsed so all the data will show you the time elapsed for this experiment so let's see how you can play around with the spectra so no, if you go to the nodes and you can uh, select all more of the peaks already scanned after two hours or one hours to see like what is the condition so here i'm selecting those da uh, like uh, data uh, uh, at different elapsed time so just basically pinned pinning the data in my spectra like then i can go to the spectra and i can see um, the trend and spectra um, like uh, stack up spectra and also i can check the trend like how it is increasing or decreasing is it like finished or like it is uh, increased and then now decreasing again because our trend should be like it should increase first and then it it will go back to its original position so it will be decreasing then so here it is still increasing if you see the surface and trend is still it is showing it is increasing so reaction is going and it is the spectra so those buttons you can check and here this button you can uh, make it zoom in and zoom out like so if you make it small or bigger so it will be like increase accordingly and also um, uh, if you see the selected peak uh, both side like it is a colored sh shaded so that is that means that it is selected so you can also decrease that shading area by selecting that this two point in the spectra so here the reaction going on still reaction is going on so here um, uh, what i'm trying to show if you select th those small uh, small button and then you can <clears throat> decrease the width of the peak selected so here uh, i'm just mon uh, say, showing you the peak at what like 1815 or 50 something like this so it is the s star actually increasing now um you can select this uh this is small like you can see that i'm uh, using this like to decrease the layer like the peak width uh, to make more accurate trend so now uh, take this dot also here drag it you can drag those dead and uh, dot with the mouse 
and then go to the trend so in some cases if you do this like just select the peak then you can see the more smoother um, uh, trend so once it is done then you can do the data processing um, uh, by making the trend calculation <clears throat> then you can <clears throat> change um, change the data to height versus time area versus time something like this so here i am subtracting the acid and uh, checking like how the data is getting changed also you can <clears throat> do the uh, baseline correction first order correction second order correction so just to see like how how smooth data is showing and also um normally first order correction this is the baseline correction so you can correct the none like then it will show the raw data if you do first order correction it might be sometimes it gives you smooth data so the uh, also sometimes second order correction uh, then it will give more smoother but sometimes give weird shape so which one is giving better shape like just it is like just kind of uh, ornamentation nothing else so you can see here like the whole spectra that's why it is showing like that but now if you increase a certain amount area so you can see like how that peak is getting increased from the baseline to the top so um and once the real once the experiment is done completed then uh, that will go to the peak and uh, again it will go down like it will be like a mountain but this area will be like kind of yellowish red so this is the experiment you can do like you can monitor the reaction by this machine uh, react ir and it is a cool technique and i hope you have learned uh, this technique and if you like this video just click like my video and um, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and bye now